Hey guys, Cha Chan here, or Triceratops, same person. Today's video, I have two items to show you. First up, I have the 2001 McDonald's Pikachu from Japan. Look at him! Oh, this was like a holy grail of mine, and I'm so happy to finally have him. Look at him, he's so cute. I saw this plush on eBay once for £25 and I kicked myself for like a year for not buying it. <laughs> so it became a holy grail and I finally got it for £10, well and then the buy postage, so about the same price if you calculate things up. So there it is, I'm so happy with him, he's so cute and much bigger than I expected as well. Anyway, there's Pikachu, let's have a look at the next thing. And next up we have the Alba Kokona Nendoroi from Yama no Susume, one of my favourite animes and I finally have her so let's unbox her. So this is a second hand Nendoroid, I believe she's official, I haven't had time to boot like her I don't think, um, and also she's not from like the world's most popular series. I think uh, I did get these from Bai, but I think they wrapped this Nendoroid in some plastic for me. I didn't pay for protective packaging, it did come with bubble wrap and stuff but let's remove this plastic. So the condition of this said it was like B condition in the description, um, so I'm not sure what to expect, but they did get it for £35 at the current exchange rate, which was about 50,000 yen, uh, so pretty good. Uh, she has been opened, um, they've peeled the sticker, I'm going to slice it, so let's slice that sticker. Uh, so I know she's been open. I'm hoping she's not missing any parts, but we'll have to see. Oh, let's have a look at the box, sorry. Uh, so there's the top, there's the front, an Android number 1397. <laughs> there's the side with Aoi and uh, Hinata. Uh, I do need Hinata, I do have Aoi. There's the back of the box and uh, the side and the bottom of the box. Okay, now let's open her. So she has been opened previously as we can see, so, oh and she does seem to be official, so we've got all the information there, the stand is this foggy plastic which is good, um, yes, you know, we do have instructions here but do we need them? Not really sure. And here's her little Nendroid stand, okay. So does she have all of her parts? I think she does, okay that's good. Let's see why she was B conditioned though. Oh, she's so cute. Let's have a look at her. Oh, <laughs> there's one of her arms. <laughs> Here she is. Oh, she's so cute. Her hands are on backwards. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's fix that. I think I found why she's B condition. There is the teeniest, tiniest little crack in the flower. You can barely see it. You can only see it when you're up close. It is right there. I don't know if my camera's even showing you it. I just had to answer a phone call, but that is done now and back to toys. <laughs> so here is Coconut out of the box. I have no idea why I just left off, but uh, yes, I, I think I just mentioned that that seems to be the only fault so far. Sorry there are noises outside, you might be able to hear them, but whatever. <laughs> uh, oh, and she does have one teeny tiny scuff on the back of her hair but overall i think she's doing fine the only concern i have is this peg the the hole where the the support peg goes in oh her, her, her trousers are on backwards <laughs> what happened and her legs are on backwards oh, okay uh, what on earth happened to this Nendoroid? Can I just twist her legs round? Might be able to just... okay. Okay, legs have been put on the correct way and now I can put her legs back into her torso, I think. Oh, a bit stiff, but I think they're in there. Alright, here is Gogona, finally put together in the correct order. <laughs> I wonder what happened to her for her to be so jumbled up. Anyway, let us play around with her expressions. In fact, no, before we play around, we do that in the B-roll. First, we look at her accessories, so. In fact, no, what am I saying? First thing you do is you put her on a stand. So, 
to put her on the stand, what I'm going to do is put her backpack on. Here's a look at the little backpack. Look at that. So cute. They don't have to sculpt the details on the back, but they did, which is nice. Are we in focus? Here we go. Little side details. I maybe could have painted these buckles a different colour, but you know, whatever. Um, that one's painted, which is nice. So, yes, and maybe the zip could have been painted too. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, the little straps are articulated to make it easier to put onto the Nendoroids, so you can put them to the side like that and put the bag in her back and then move the little straps over like that. There we go. I think the connection between her backpack and her body is a little bit loose, so uh, maybe some blue tag can help me there. Um, I'm, I'm going to be displaying her with her backpack on pretty much all the time, so it's not much of an issue. Now here's where the problems start. The stand and the hair will not like each other very much. So wish me luck. <laughs> oh, she's fallen off her backpack again, okay. Okay, so her backpack doesn't actually stay in her back, that is uh, a problem. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll fix this later. We've rambled on for long enough. Let's um, have a look at her accessories. So the first thing she has is her little pilgrim staff and the arm that holds it. Uh, I think this is removable. Yes, okay, you can remove the pilgrim staff from her hand, but, you know, why would you? Unless you needed her to hold something else. So there's that. Very cute. The connections, so they got a little bit of a gap there, but, you know, whatever. She then comes with the hands that make the little mountain, little triangle, we're out of focus. So she can make the little uh, triangle symbol to look like a mountain when she's taking pictures or whatever. That's very cute. She also comes with a hand and arm to hold the little cake. Uh, what kind of cake is this called? Uh, marble cake? I've been calling it marble cake because it's marbled effect and goes in her hand like that. I thought she came with two. No, she doesn't come with two hand pieces to hold the cake. She comes with one. Okay, well anyway, that's that. A hand in a fist. And a holding hand part so she can hold hands with Aoi or Hinata or any other Nendroid, I guess. So there's that. Her spare neck peg. Her eyes closed, smiling faceplate. And she has one more faceplate which is this uh, starry-eyed, excited faceplate. It's very clean print. I'm very impressed with that. Actually, well, all Nendroids have clean face printing normally, <laughs> but this one looks very crisp. All right, I'm going to attempt to get Kokona to stand on her stand with her backpack. Wish me luck, this could take a while. I could not get the backpack to stay in. I tried blue tack, I tried masking tape, I tried both together, did not work, so I'll have to figure out something else. But the other parts of her seem to fit just fine. So I'm displaying her currently with her pilgrim staff and without her backpack. <laughs> and she's so cute, I'm so happy I got her. I really want to take her out on photography trips, so uh, look forward to seeing pictures of her at some point if you follow me on MFC. Well, not follow, you know, just... If you know where I am on MFC, you might see pictures of her. Anyway, uh, I really hope that they make Kaede and Honoka at some point, because I would really like to have all of the Yamna Susume girls together. It would be nice. Um, but anyway, Coconut is my favourite Yamna Susume character, and I'm really happy that she got an Android. In fact, she's kind of half the reason I watched the show, because I saw the Nendroid announcement and I was like, oh, that's cute, but I don't know who it is. Then I was looking for um, Yuru Camp adjacent animes and I saw Yamana Susume and I went, okay, we'll have a watch of that. And I watched it and I loved it, and I'm watching it for a second time. <laughs> so yes, I really love the anime. It is one of my favourites. Would I recommend the Coconut Nendroid? Uh, only if you really love the character, because she doesn't come with very much and she's so expensive. I mean, yes, I got her for quite cheap on the aftermarket, secondhand a little bit damaged, but, you know, she's overpriced. <laughs> anyway, that was my quick review of Coconut chan the Nendoroid. I'm gonna go now, because I ran out of B-rolls, so I have to sign off. So, thank you so much for watching. Please do not hit the like button, as that probably hurts and not very nice, so maybe shake his hand instead. With that being said, hope to see you in the next one, and bye!